Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about filters. So it's a very cool feature in PipeDrive. Uh, it's also one of my favorite subjects, uh, filters. Um, the, the reason why is because we can do many things. We can create reports, uh, we can pull data uh, using filters. So let's see this together right after the intro. So, talking about filters today. <clears throat> okay, so what can we do with filters? How we can create filters? Uh, and also, why do we need to create filters in PipeDrive? Uh, well, some specific reasons are to generate reports, uh, to pull data, uh, to export uh, particular data that we want from our CRM. How do we find filters and how do we create filters in PipeDrive? Well, filters we're going to find in many uh, different tabs, okay? We're going to find filters for deals, we're going to find filters for leads, uh, for activities, contacts, products. So everywhere that you're going to see this little drop down uh, with this little symbol here, I call it kind of a Wi-Fi symbol, it looks like a Wi-Fi symbol for me. It is not, but okay, it looks like one. Uh, every time that we have this, it means that we can create a filter, we can, uh, we can see a filter in PipeDrive, okay? Um, I would call it also in here, where we can see our pipelines, is a kind of a filter as well, okay? I'm selecting deals based on my pipeline, so I'm filtering deals based on the pipeline. But for custom filters, that's where we find um, uh, the filters in PipeDrive, okay? We could also say that I could have filters by ownership, okay? so a owner is everyone, so I could see every deal that I have by a particular user, by uh, teams. If you are in a professional plan, you can create teams, and therefore you could create a team that would have members on it, and then you would see deals only with that, uh, with that team. So Europe, North America, so two people, and then I can see in the North America team, I don't have any deals. Uh, in this pipeline. But if I go in filters, okay, in here I'm gonna have a list of filters default in pipe, in pipe drive already, okay, which for example, all deleted deals, all lost deals that I have, all open deals, and is where I could add also new deals. So adding a deal, uh, sorry, adding a filter in pipe drive, uh, we're gonna have these two sort of categories in here, okay, two sort of conditions and is where I'm gonna tell PipeDrive, okay, I'm gonna add a condition. <clears throat> Everything here is gonna be related to the deals, so it has a direct link to my deals. I could also say that the first condition is based on the person, <clears throat> but also because I'm on my deals filters, it's gonna be persons that's gonna have a sort of a link with the deals. For the exercise, we're gonna say a deal, and then what is the condition basically which type of fields that I have in deals that I can use to create a filter. Um, let's say my deals labels. So I could go deals label and then what is really the condition? My deal label is whatever it is. It is not, it's empty. Okay, so I'm going to tell PipeDrive, I want to see all the deals that the label is implementation. Okay, from the moment on, if I save in here, PipeDrive is going to search in, in the database, okay, how many deals I have that has the label implementation, and it's going to bring it up. Also, I could kind of miss, um, uh, add uh, conditions in here. So I could say in the label of the deal is implementation, and maybe uh, the contact of the person uh, <clears throat> he has interested as well in a particular product that I want. So I could kind of create combinations um, in my filters. The filter's name, a recommendation that I'm going to give in here is I particularly like to use numbers because PipeDrive is going to select on that drop down based on alphabetical order. So having 0, 01, 0, 02, and then the name of your filter, you're going to be sure that you always have a kind of a nice clean list rather than mixing up all the time that you create a new filter based on your alphabetical order. Okay, so zero one, and then <coughs> name of your 
filter. Uh, I like to save the selected columns with the filter, okay? Because saving this, we're going to be able to create the specific columns for each filter that we're going to create. We'll see this in a second together. And the visibility, okay, do I want to keep this filter private? Or well, I want to share with everyone uh, in, in my company? I could say I'll share and then I'll save it. Same with the filter, we can see now in the drop down list, see my 01 is right on top of the list. Tomorrow, if I add a second one, 0, 02, 0, 03. Uh, another way you could be like, you know, by teams, if you have teams, North America team, it could be like, you know, the initials North America, NA, and then the name of your filters. So you would have filters by your, <coughs> your regions. But if we're here, we can see name of the filter, or in this case is implementation. I could go and change them. The use. Implementation. And sorry, it didn't save. So I'm gonna go there now and save the columns. Well, it didn't bring me any deals in here. Okay, zero. And the reason why is because all my qualify, qualif um, qualification pipeline, I don't have any deals with that sort of label, okay? So if we change the filter back to owners and everyone, okay, we can see in here that I only have one deal with one label, which is audit, okay? Let's get this Logan as an example, and let's add Logan as an implementation uh, deal. If we go back in our qualification pipeline, now I can see I have two deals with a label, and if I use my filter, Deals equals implementation. Bang, I have one right there. Um, also, if I change view from my pipeline view to my list view, right here, okay, the filter that I had before is not gonna uh, be visually straight away. So pay attention to that. Sometimes you might be in one of view and you're gonna have a filter selected and you're gonna change your view and then all the, the deals that you have are not the same. It's because type drive doesn't really bring the last filter that you have um, in a pipeline to another one. So you could go back in the filters and then deals equal implementation. And here, now we can see that we have six deals. And why? Because I didn't specify in my filter which pipeline I wanted to see, okay? In there it was a generic, if you go back and we see in here, is just a generic straight away, uh, a straight um, condition. Deal label is implementation. Doesn't have anything else to tell PipeDrive. Well, I only wanted to see deals with the label implementation in a particular pipeline. So on my list view, I have six now. And if we go back, oh, that is my pipelines, I can have sales pipeline and my qualification pipeline. And I can see now that I have one in the qualification and then the other five in there. Would be the same if I go in my pipeline view and I change pipelines, okay, and I keep the filter in there. Well, in here, I have now five, okay, uh, but we can see they are mixed, okay, open and also one deals. So I could then tell PyDrive, well, I don't really want to see the deals they have uh, the status one. I only wanted to see deals with the status or status as open. Okay, and then I would save. Now out of those five, I got only three. So that's how you kind of start to manipulate the the conditions, the filters, to see exactly what you need, uh, and maybe to extract data from here. So if we go back now in the list view. Okay, and I update this. <clears throat> Rather than the six that we had before, I have only four now. Okay, I still count the one in the qualification pipeline because the status is also uh, open. Um, I mentioned before the saved columns with the filter. Okay, well. Looks like it's not really saving. Not really sure why, but here in this little icon, this little gearbox icon, 
This way I can then uh, control which columns I wanted to see with this filter. Okay, so I could then tell PipeDrive for these deals equals implementation. I only wanted to see, let's say, uh, I don't need to know the label of the deal because I already have on the filters. And we can see straight away that this label is linked to deals. And we can see that I have columns in here that is related to person. So the email of the person, the pipeline of the deal, um, the owner of the person. Okay, so who is the owner of my contact in there? Uh, and, and so on. I could also create other columns available and visible. Okay, so based on the categories that I want, a deal, person, or an organization, I could go and say, well, I wanted to see the deal, um, maybe the stages. Okay, maybe it's important for me, or if my deals, they have a budget. So I create two extra columns, and maybe I could go also in person, and I wanted to see also the label of those contacts. And I would save in here. PipeDrive would update the amount of columns, and if you, if you glide in here to your right, you see right there, the column budget, the column label, now for the contact, for the persons, okay, and the stage of the deals. I could also click left to right to move whatever column I want, and I'll design the filter based on what I, uh, the descriptions that I decided on my filters. Let's say that I wanted to extract data from here, I could just go on those three dots and then export filter results. Okay, that's one of the reasons why we create filters in PipeDrive to also help us to export data from here and use in a different um, software. As I mentioned, <clears throat> it's not just here that we can create filters, we can also create filters in activities, in our contacts. So I could go in activities and let's say that I wanted to create something else, like another type of filter, you know, like this type of data analysis plus period. If we go and we check the conditions in here, now we can see that the first option is activity. So it's not related to do anymore, it's more related to the activities. So activity, the type of activity is, and then I decided in here, okay. And then I'll bring everything that is only that type of activity in PipeDrive. For this uh, filter, is is might be not the best option uh, because I can also select and I can also filter just from here. But it's an example that you can see that you can create filters also in here to see uh, things and also extract information from your activities page. It would be the same from your products. You know, we would have a drop down in there by owners or filter. For, for now, for example, I don't have any. Um, and I could also have this in the leads section. Okay, so if you go in the leads inbox, in there again, I have ownership of filters and I could then create PipeDrive also, give me uh, some default filters right there to use it straight away. Um, so that's it for now, guys. It's just a quick video how to, to show you how to create filters, how you can manipulate some filters um, around. And we do another one with a little bit more uh, complexity, uh, also using maybe in conjunction with our workflow automation, every time that my deal kind of, uh, that something happens, I can then use the filters to automate something or uh, maybe using a Zapier or Integromat account. Um, so yeah, leave your comments below and I hope you enjoyed the video for today. See you next time. Bye bye.